This coming Friday, the beauty of nature will be on display in a big film festival that's coming to the Twin Cities. The Wild and Scenic Film Festival is the largest environmental film festival in the United States. It went to more than 140 cities last year alone. Friends of the Boundary Waters hosting two screenings coming up, one Friday in Minneapolis at the Varsity Theater, another September 19th at the Duluth Playho uh, Playhouse. And Aaron Clems is one of the organizers and joins us live in studio this morning. Nice to see you, Aaron. Nice to see you. So the way this works is uh, there are all of these different films that are available that are about the environment, and then you selected... We selected six films, and then we also have one that's about the Boundary Waters that was produced for our organization by somebody. So we'll have seven films total, and drinks in a raffle, and have a good time at the Varsity Theater, showing folks these wonderful places and also the stories of folks that are trying to protect them. And what's neat, too, is that you're going to see the film, and you'll check out the Boundary Waters a little bit, but then you're also helping out that area just by going and watching. That's Dream. right. And part of our mission, of course, is protecting the Boundary Waters. And beach. anyone who goes is adding to that mission. And we'll also give folks chances to take action to protect the Boundary Waters there as well. The big Same issue, sense. of course, with the Boundary Waters, obviously, it is uh, such a large piece of land that is so pristine and kind of untouched or unruined by man. You are dealing with mining proposals, right? That that kind of pick at the fringes, maybe, of the Boundary Waters? Yep. The, uh, the area of the Boundary Waters is protected, and it has been since the Wilderness Act yeah. was passed, but the water that flows into the Boundary Waters is its lifeblood, and that's what we're concerned about is if pollution happens in those watersheds that flow into the Boundary Waters, the things that make it special, the fish, you know, and the pristine nature of the water there could be threatened. The films that we'll get to see this coming weekend, you actually had a, had a hand in picking them out. It sounded like a fun day. You said you sat down and watched yeah. a lot of movies, picked out your favorites. You couldn't have a better day at work than sitting around watching movies and choosing <laughs> which ones to show. Now, obviously, all of these movies are you know, directly related to the Boundary Waters. How, what kind of themes were you looking for? So what can people expect? Well, we were looking for themes that uh, relate to folks protecting the places that they love. And so it, we looked at places from Fiji to the Rocky Mountain Front here in the United States, here to the Boundary Waters and elsewhere and found a lot of places where folks were doing creative stuff to advocate for those places and protecting them, including whether it's hula hoops or, you know, hula hooping to the top of mountains. It's a little, there's, there's a little bit of fun stuff, but a lot and some serious stuff, too, and a chance to see some great places as well. Because it can be hard to spread the mission, right? If it's something that you love and you care about, that's not enough. You need to get people who maybe have m more of a passing interest. In exactly. And, and that's the thing about the Boundary Waters. It's part of Minnesota's identity. Yeah. You know, it's visited by 250,000 folks a year. But there are a lot of folks that know it's there but haven't been there yet. Sure. And maybe we'll never go there. That's true. And it's still valuable because it's a place that's kept wild and that we need places like that in the world. Reserves from the places that, you know, mm. our everyday life, the, uh, the busyness of it. Right. And figuring out how to yeah. speak to those people is interesting. I exactly. Think. And yeah. we hope the films do a, a, good, a good job of that. I bet you that'll spark a lot of people that interest. And, in, you know, when you're seeing it on film like that in a different way, it really does hit home. Yeah. Wild and Scenic Film Festival is at the Varsity Theater. A great place to see a film. I love that theater. It's Friday. Tickets are 12 bucks in advance. If you're a student, you can get a ticket for $8. We have all the information for you at WCCO.com slash links. Aaron, thanks for coming in. Good luck on Friday night. Thank you very much.